Let's build a streaming setup on my workstation using an old GH3 mirrorless camera. Here we have my GH3 and uh, it's old and uh, broken so it only uses manual uh, lenses. But this is a nice 12mm T1.6 Essler Magic and I made a custom uh, lens hood otherwise I got a lot of flaring and with 50mm uh, rods I built this construction to hold it in place. It's powered from the wall with a uh, dummy battery. It sits nicely above the monitor here and the camera has an HDMI output. So we need a capture device and I ordered this package on Saturday night and now it is Sunday and it's already delivered. I bought an Elkato Camlink 4K and it's a an USB stick to capture HDMI and it turns your HDMI camera into a webcam for your system. So the only important things from the package are the stick and the USB extension cable. Here we have the Camlink stick, it's pretty simple USB port here and HDMI, nothing else. And a short extension cable so the USB stick doesn't have to stick out of your system and break off. For audio I use a Behringer C1 uh, microphone on XLR on this road arm and it goes into this focus right. So let's plug in the USB and you need of course a USB 3 port and then you connect the HDMI cable to the cam link like this. And this is my first try with Photoshop to make a stream uh, overlay. So I'm pretty happy with the result. So what do you think? So let's turn on the camera. I already installed OBS software and imported my uh, master creation. So let's see if we can uh, connect the camera. Video capture device. Cam link 4K. Okay. <laughs> There's something wrong with the colors, but the cam link is working. Uh, uh, <laughs> configure video. No. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, I got it working now with the correct colors. I had to restart OBS. And it's a little bit dark on this screen because on the display there it's a bit lighter. So let's see where that setting is. Yeah, that's better. Full color range. Otherwise the dynamic range is lower. Okay, that looks better. It's even on the white side this uh, uh, lens. I, maybe I gonna get a tighter lens for this. The lens is fully manual so we need to set the uh, aperture for example. As you can see it now gets darker. So this wide open and with a blurry background. And we need to set the focus ourselves. And of course exposure is not auto. So let's Bump up, up the ISO a bit. To 400. So that looks nice with a blurry background so I don't have to clean my room. The cam link has also audio. Uh, so this is now the internal microphone of the camera. So we're going to mute this. So we only have the focus right and this uh, bearing a microphone for the live stream. So let's do a secret uh, test live stream. So let's just try if it will work. Start streaming. Don't tell anyone. This is a secret test stream. We have 13 people watching. I will be probably back tonight. Thanks for watching. Yes, the stream was successful. The audio and the video were correct. So, yes. I think this lens is a little bit wide for this talking head live streaming setup. So let's swap it out for this Canon FD lens, it's a 28mm f2 on a focal reducer. So this is a 12mm and this will become like a 20mm. So let's go from this to this. What? This. And it looks much better. I mean it's less white and I don't have to clean my room before I come to stream so that's a bonus because I have a really blurry background. I like this lens uh, 
on the on the camera only I have issues with the camera and the colors the green and purple stuff I'm not sure if it comes from the GH3 or some problem with the cam link so I need to figure that out I was not recording at full HD so I changed the settings so this is now at full HD uh, resolution so this is how the Canon FD lens now looks on the camera and it's a really awesome lens the cam link is really easy to install it's really plug and play also the cam link works in Skype without any problems or setting up. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe and leave a comment. You can join Retro Machines on Facebook and support me monthly on Patreon or use my uh, Amazon affiliated links. And follow me on Twitter. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times.